Hey guys, welcome back to Ultimate. My name's Emily and in today's video, we're going to show you how to level your Ultimate Camper. So let's go. Hey Dad. Hi Em. Can you show me or can you, can you teach me how to level the camper? Oh, I think I can do that. It's really quite simple. Take it away. One of the first things that you need to do after you've unhooked from your vehicle is to be able to ascertain what angle your camper trailer is sitting on. Now, so that you don't need one of these, which, you know, it's a little bit bulky and whatnot and doesn't necessarily fit where you want, we've provided on the drawbar of the camper a simple dot level. Now, as you can see from that dot level, the dot, the bubble inside there is not in the middle of the ring. So this camper is not sitting level. So what we're going to need to do is first of all, we need to be able to put the nose down more than the back, so that's nose down. So we'll wind this jockey wheel down. Now, if you come along and have a look at that dot level now, you'll see that it's much closer, it's pretty much inside the circle, but it's to one side. So what that's saying is basically the bed side uh, the driver's side is up too high. In a lot of instances, I'm happy to have the bed side up too high because when we open it up, you get a small amount of shift towards the bed side. And I think you'd agree with us that you'd rather have your head up a little bit higher when you're sleeping than a little bit lower. So if you're gonna err, err on one side or the other, make sure your bed side is up a little bit higher than the non-bed side or the passenger side. Okay, so, but we're gonna show you how to, to level this up from some extreme angles. So we're gonna wind this down a, a fair way. Now if you have a look at the bubble there now, you'll see it's right up the back, meaning we're pretty much nose down. Now, you may not need to I'd put the front down as much as that to level across the side. I'm going to take you down the back now and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. When we look at the back of the camper trailer, just like we're looking at that dot level, we can tell that the bed side is up a bit high. So if I want to level that, if I want to push that side down, then what I will do is I will put, because we're on soft ground, with the aid of one of these pads, I'll put this outrigger down. And pin it. And what we're going to do now, is we're going to go up the front and we're going to wind the front up. This is really important and I think a lot of people don't get their heads around this bit. That side can't go down. It's locked off by the outrigger. But as I bring the front up, that side can go down. So we're going to take the camper from that and we're going to tip it sideways like this. So let's go and wind up the front and see how that works. Now, if you look at the bubble, you will see it's not on this side, it's on the other side. So we'll walk down the back and have a look at the back. And if you look at that, you can see that the passenger side, the left side is much higher now than the right hand side. So that is done simply by putting an outrigger into place and bringing the jockey wheel back up. I'd go the other way now. So I'm going to wind the jockey wheel down to take weight off this leg and then we'll put a leg in the other side. Now, by winding this down, I'm taking weight off that leg now so I can remove it. So you can see this has come right up off the ground now. So I'll just put that one away. Okay, so we've locked off the bedside. So now we're going to wind the front up to just past level. And if you have a look at that dot level now, you'll see that it's right over the bedside. So you can see we've leveled it up from that angle. What we'll typically do now, if we were happy with that particular level, 
So we come to the front bedside outrigger. Put that into place and simply lower the front down a little bit just to put some weight onto that leg. Okay, so that's a simple leveling process. So you saw what we're doing there by winding the front down and locking one corner off or the other corner off with an outrigger and then bringing the front up, we can adjust the angle of the camper trailer. We can level it up from some pretty odd angles. Once we've done that, we put the front one in just to stabilize, open up the lid, and if you've done it just right, it's either dead level or your bed, the bed head is just a little bit higher than your feet. A lot of the time, you don't need to use all of the outriggers. In fact, a lot of the time, you hardly have to go through a leveling process. So for instance, on all of our vehicles and our customers' vehicles, we try to set up the ultimate to ride level behind the customer's vehicle. So if you stop for an overnight stop on level ground, all you need to do is get out and put the right rear outrigger down. That's all. And that just makes sure that when you open the lid up and over, that that corner doesn't go down. But if you're unhooking from the vehicle for a few days, you might find if, for instance, uh, that the camper is sitting with the passenger side right down before levelling, that you might have to put that outrigger in first. And then the right-hand side, and then last of all, the front one. And when, you're, and when you're reversing the process, that's exactly what you do. Just go backwards step by step to take the weight off the outrigger legs as you remove them. Well, I actually like to cheat a bit. You know, like rather than unhooking the vehicle if I'm just you know, going to stay just the night, and if I'm, I'm on uneven ground, I'll whip out the wheel chocks and run the wheel up onto them. The wheel is on the downside, uh, and that way I've pretty much got the camper level with, without having to do anything. I always recommend though that at the least we put the right rear outrigger down just to stabilize the side that we're going to put the bed out and over. We do have a shift of weight when we do that. Some people actually suggest that you can dig a hole out in front of the tire, the high tire, so it can drop down into it. Sure, if you're on sandy conditions or something like that, that's fine, but I certainly don't recommend getting out the shovel and digging up and leaving holes where you camp. That's just messing up the campsite. Depending on how soft the ground is, I mean, even a large pad will sink into it. Uh, on the whole, we find that those pads, even on a sandy beach, are usually sufficient. Uh, but if you're in boggy ground, you know, you could sink in there. If you've, if you've just stuffed up the leveling and you've got it all wrong, and when you put your pillows up that end of the bed, your head's down, that bed is the same width in all length in all directions. Just put your pillows up the high side and worry about leveling tomorrow. So what you've got to do first if you're unhooking from the vehicle. Unhook from the vehicle and then ascertain the level, the list of your camper. Now, we all know that the jockey wheel is going to wind the front up and down. But what we're concerned about is getting the level across the beam of the Ultimate. And so that's what you need to do is look at which side is up, which side is down. Are they okay or is it too much? And typically what you'll do then is wind the front jockey wheel down, put the low side outrigger into place then then go up the front and wind the front the jockey wheel up and you will find that the high side comes down and stop winding that front jockey wheel up when you've got it to the level you want so if i'm high on this side too high on this side i will start by putting that outrigger down if i am too high on the passenger side i will start by putting that outrigger down so Put the low side out rigger down into place first, wind up the jockey wheel a bit more until you've got the level you want, and then either put in the opposite out rigger or put in the front out rigger. Thanks for teaching me how to use the leveling system in the camper, Dad. Mm. I, I think I get it now. We'll have to put it to practice, hey? I think most people will find it is really simple, but you need that 
white globe moment. Yeah. Once you've got it, you've got it, and it's a piece of cake. Yeah, and you kind of yeah need to do it. It's all well and good yep. talking about it, and I could probably re-explain what you just said back to the camera, but I've got to do it to get it. Well, now you've got your own camper, Em. Yeah. You're going to have to teach Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And until next time, we're going camping. We are. <laughs>